how are you today? Okay, let me start off by saying that this is a video for the Facebook group My Year 2017. I forget to say that at the beginning of a lot of these videos. I know I post them on YouTube to share with you all, but they are intended for that group and there are some uh, details, freebies, communications that you won't get here on YouTube if you're not a member of the Facebook group. So if you want to be a member of the group, the link's in the description below along with the link to my Etsy shop and my other Facebook group, my happy mail address, all that stuff. Check it out, okay? So that's that. So this is the month of June that we're filming for and in June our prompt is growth. Whether it's personal growth, artistic growth, um, growth in um, your learning, your being, your education, whatever it is for you, whatever that word means to you, um, listen to that and explore that. Um, for me, I really want to push the boundaries a little bit of your art. And um, I did film something in May. If you haven't seen it yet, you, uh, I will link the video in the description below. Um, it was a live broadcast where we played with the idea of mono printing on the jelly plate with watercolor. That's really interesting. And um, these are some things that we made during that broadcast. Now, it's not my original idea. I got the idea from the Jelly Arts channel here on YouTube, and I do link their video where they had that in the description of my video. Um, and I'll try to link both of them in the description of this video. If I forget links in this video description, or if I ever forget links in any video description, don't be afraid to post a comment and say, hey, Jeannie, you forgot the links, because, uh, you know, I'm only one person, so I do forget. Um, so these are some prints that we're going to do, and how fun would it take the take be to take these and continue to work with them and push the boundaries a little bit. Now here's one that I did finish during the broadcast and I took what was on there and I just doodled on top of it. You could very easily do that. I have two here that have faces on them. Okay, so we're gonna, I think, take, actually, let's take this one. Um, and I'm going to, um, this is a Pilot Varsity disposable fountain pen and I would really find it interesting to challenge myself to embellish this, bring out her features more, and find it interesting if I did it left-handed. I'm right-handed, FYI. Um, so, doing art, and it's really hard for me to talk while I'm doing this, doing art with your non-dominant hand I think really challenges the way you think, it challenges the way you're doing things, I find it really, really interesting. I find it a great way to force myself to grow and learn and to break out of that box that I stick myself in frequently. Um, explore the idea of messy art. Um, Non-dominant hand art too is fun to do if you do some of the continuous line art where you don't lift the pen up. I am lifting the pen up, but you could very easily do this and get something that's really interesting without lifting up the pen. It is really hard to talk and do this, FYI. <laughs> okay, and then I have a... I have... this is by Sakura. I've used these before. They're like a white oil-based crayon thing. I got it from Jet Pens, and it says number 5063 white. It says SC-S on it, and that's the little Sakura symbol. Um, I just have them in black and white. <laughs> really challenging. Didn't I say that already? <laughs> So I want you to think about doing some of these and, you know, really exploring the idea of breaking out of your box, doing something different, um, whether it's timed art or non-dominant hand art, um, whatever it is, break out of that box a little bit and explore that. 
Okay, and then I'm going to get this out again. For me, it's also kind of therapy because since I had shoulder surgery, I don't have super great control over this hand. I have problems with this hand. So for me, it also happens to be kind of, you know, my own DIY version of sort of physical therapy for the hand. And that was a Bible Gel Highlighter, which happens to be my favorite um, crayon. You guys probably all know that. My favorite, one of my favorite crayons. So that is really cute. She's really cute. And you could very easily paste her into your journal as is. You could make a copy of her and add her a copy of your journal, something like that. I want to show you also, though, I have just a couple of plain backgrounds. Let's do this one. This is a Crayola refillable marker that I actually filled up with Sumi ink. Again, left-handed. I find left-handed art challenging. You don't have to do anything super complicated. Just make some art, maybe use your least favorite color, use your non-dominant hand like I'm doing, something. And just, just do something. It doesn't have to be anything, uh, like I said, it's just, we're not looking for Rembrandt here. <laughs> we're, just, we're just looking to have fun and to practice and to learn and grow and try something new. Maybe this month you want to try a new medium. Maybe you want to try watercolor. You haven't done it before. Uh, maybe you want to try drawing and you haven't done that before. Whatever it is, stretch out of your box, try something new, and have fun with it. I am going to sit here and I am going to play with making some left-handed art and I will see you guys back tomorrow with another video. Uh, I hope that you find something interesting and useful about this and that you learn, grow, and explore your art and your self-expression, whatever that may be. And um, yeah, go out and have a great day. And do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Please give me some thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Bye, guys.